Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah. Thanks for watching. If we haven't met before, I'm Hannah. I am a mom and a knitter and I design some children's knitwear um, for, yeah, for all your little people. Um, I have all my links below if you want to find me on Ravelry or Instagram. Um, yeah, anyway, this is a regular episode where I share what I finished, what I um, am working on now, and any acquisitions I might have. So just a regular episode. But I also asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram. There's actually a lot. I'm looking over at them. And so I'm only going to get to like half, well, maybe a third today. Um, and then I'll just save them for another video. But um, one of them is what yarn would you knit with if you could only choose one? What's your favorite weight yarn? What's your favorite needle size? Those kinds of questions. But I also want to hear what you think. So we'll, we'll save it to the end. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to hear um, y'all's answers as well. So what I have finished. I um, shared in one of my videos that I took on a sample knit for the month of March. And that was kind of my big March garment. Was a sample knit for a designer for a pattern that will be released this summer. So I am not able to share that. But it is almost the last day of March. <laughs> yeah, almost last day of March and it's done. This was the yarn I used. This is De Rorum Natura Albertine. Um, it's a wool silk blend and you can see I have it over here blocking in the back. <laughs> um, yeah, so I finished that and um, it feels really, really good. It's going to feel really good when I send it out the door. <laughs> Um, my husband and son and I all had COVID this past week and you can kind of hear it in my voice. I apologize for that. So I, we weren't like, I wasn't knitting. My husband wasn't able to work for a few days. Um, it was our first time having it. So it just really took us down, <laughs> took us down hard. Um, but we are recovering. We're still, still at home right now, but, um, yeah, I wasn't really able to knit at all. So that took like a week off of my knitting time which is pretty significant um so that's really all I've been working on trying to meet the deadline for that and make sure I get it out um in time to the designer so that's my one finished object but I am so thrilled because that means that I can cast something on for myself um a garment I'm very excited <laughs> I cannot wait um I don't know what I'm gonna cast on after this if I have time during nap, maybe tonight, I'm just going to go sit in my, in my yarn closet and look at my yarn and look at my patterns I want to make. I think I'm just going to go ahead and skip to spring. I had planned like quarterly, I made quarterly plans and I have a video about my winter plans. And then, yeah, I'm just, I'm inspired by like the sunshine and all these other like warm weather knitting videos. So I might just skip straight to that. We will see. <laughs> Um, I can't remember if I shared this before. I think I shared it before. Yeah, anyway, this went out to testers this last week. So that was exciting because um, I want to get this out out for the little people to wear. I think my testers will have theirs to wear for like Easter if they want. Um, but then have it out later. Um, I got a lot of design questions um, in the question box. And I realized I think I'm just going to save them for... A separate video and make sort of like a Q&A slash my like designer philosophy um, video. So thank you if you sent in one of those videos. That was really, really special to read. People are actually interested in that even if they aren't knitting like specifically for kids or, or whatever. So yeah, this is my most recent pattern. It is in testing currently this week, um, which was a lot too with, with being sick and sending that out. Um, but it, it worked out fine. Um, okay, so works in progress. I have my lovely first cardigan. I I love this. I love it. It's beautiful. I think since the last time we spoke, I have finished the body um, of the sweater. It's pretty wrinkled. It's been in my bag for a while. Let's see if I can hold this up. There we go. So I finished the body of the sweater and it has this one by one ribbing at the bottom, stockinette body, and um, I finished the front side of the button band and it's the side with the buttonholes. So um, 
yeah, I, I love a double knit button band. This pattern has like all my favorite, favorite details in it. So i um, very excited to be working on it. Can you see that? Is that coming up? There we go. That button band, so good. I'm gonna have to post a picture of this on my Instagram. I don't think I have yet. It's kind of hard to see like, cause the cardigan shape gets all wrinkled in on itself. Um, maybe without the sleeves, but anyway, came off the needles. I, yeah, unfortunately I ran out of yarn. So I have to buy more yarn. That's why it's been in my bag for like a couple weeks because I ran out of yarn, sad. And I need sleeves <laughs> and half button band. Um, yeah, so I need to buy more yarn. It's good wool. I have more mohair. Um, I'm using Pearl Soho Good Wool in the color Walking Stick, and I'm using this Knitting for Olive Soft Silk Mohair in the color Hazel. So I have enough mohair. I don't have enough Good Wool. At the beginning of the year, I made a lot of knitting plans with yarn in my stash and said, okay, I'm going to knit from my stash, and like I don't want to bring in you know a lot more yarn this year just to kind of work through what was in my in my yarn closet my yarn collection, um, and so, yeah, but I told myself, like, if I had over half of the yarn I needed for a project, it would be okay for me to, um, you know, go ahead and start that project, and if I ran out of yarn, to just buy more, because I'm, I'm still getting it out of my collection, I might just have to buy a piece, if it's a yarn I really like, if it's a yarn that I don't, like, love, I might just, like, pass it on or sell it to someone else, but, this is a yarn that I have used before and I'm very happy with. So I am excited to complete this at some point. It's already probably too warm to wear it, but I'm not really, not really worried about that. Um, but yeah, this is the first cardigan from Hive Knits. Highly recommend, highly recommend. It's just incredible. The pattern was incredibly well written. The design is beautiful. I'm just like admiring it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I can't wait to wear it. I feel like it's gonna be one where like people don't know I made it and like sometimes that's a compliment too, you know? <laughs> when people ask you if you made it, that's amazing. When people have no idea you made it, also amazing. <laughs> um, so that's gonna go back in my bag until I can order more. I'm kind of waiting to see if there's a sale on Goodwill, so that's why I haven't um, bought any yet, but this is my Fringe, Fringe Supply Co. bag before they went out of business. And then I've got some lovely pins on here. Yeah, so this is going back downstairs to my, to my desk to wait for me. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I do have my blanket, which is growing so much. I have been working on this. I'm about half a square behind, I think. Yeah, I was planning to do one square a weekend. Oops, sorry, one square a weekend to like complete the knit along. So I'm doing the Pearl Soho Prism Blanket Knit Along. And um, it's really looking like a blanket. Ollie's enjoying snuggling with it on occasion when I bring it out and he's with me. So I have this square here and then I'll have four squares left. So I have four and a half squares left. Um, funny enough, I'm currently knitting with walking stick, <laughs> um, which is the yarn I need for my cardigan. I don't really think there's, I mean, there's not going to be enough left to knit the sleeves out of, but, um, if I do have some left, I will put it, put it towards my, uh, <laughs> my button band or something, um, so I can keep working on that sweater because I just really love it. I might block it while I don't have the sleeves just to see how beautiful it is, um, Anyway, so that's an, a blanket update for you. I thought about doing an I-cord edge on here. If you're doing the knit along, I'm, I'm not unhappy with the edges. They look nice. But I thought about, I saw um, Eunice from Therapy by Craft. She has a new podcast and she has an I-cord bind off on her Vertices Unite, which I think is the pattern. I just, I'm not familiar with that pattern but it looked so good <laughs> and so I was thinking what would an I-cord bind off look like on my blanket um but then that's a lot of yarn to use <laughs> and that's a lot more knitting 
to put into the blanket, which I've already put a lot of knitting into. I'm not sure. We'll see. Anyway, it was just a thought. Um, but yeah, my blanket. So those are my only works in progress right now, which is why I'm totally comfortable um, casting on another project soon. Today, maybe. I'll swatch today. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But now I'm going to do the Q&As um, that you guys sent me from Instagram. You can always send me questions or leave me a comment with a question, but something I wanted to try for this video is when I ask the question, I want you to also give me an answer. So the first question is, if you could only knit with one yarn for the next year, what would it be? I'll tell you what, what I choose, but um, I think it'd be fun if you tell me what, what you would knit with as well. Um, so anyway, I would choose, I've definitely been asked this before, and the question changes all the time, I think. Um, as of today though, I would choose either, this, this is knitting for all of Merino, fingering weight. So I would either choose this yarn or I would choose the Woolberry sock yarn. Um, just because, yeah, I, I have just been really loving it lately and the fingering weight I feel like is nice for, um, like winter, spring, summer, fall, all of it. So Knitting for Olive Merino has so many colors. This is Dusty Artichoke, but they have just like whites, pinks, blues, greens, purples, so many good colors. Um, and I love that it's available and it's like moderately affordable for me if it's in my budget um you know so those are all good things and i would definitely i would definitely knit it forever <laughs> um but it's tied with this because while i don't buy a lot of woolberry i love the stuff i do have um yeah and it feels so nice i have only made socks with my woolberry yarn um i believe no, I made a scarf too. And yeah, it just so, it wears really well. It's so soft. I mean, it's just the best and their colorways are so gorgeous. And yeah, so I would, I would use this yarn forever. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that like, really loves it, but there's an indie dyed in a commercial for you. Okay, so the second question is, what is your favorite yarn weight? And what is your favorite needle size? There are two different ones, but. Um, so this is funny because I just chose a finger weight yarn, but for my favorite yarn weight, I would probably say, um, DK. I mean, I would say fingering if it didn't take like, you know, so long to knit with, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm more on that lighter side right now. So spore, DK, um, not lace weight, but <laughs> those three, I, I really like them right now. And, um, yeah, I think I just like how they are finished. Why? So I just love the fabric of this and wearing it. My fingering weight knits are so nice for the spring. Um, yeah, so fingering, sport, or DK, I would say, is my favorite currently. Um, for needle size, these don't really go that well together, but I would say my, my US 6 or my 4 millimeter, I really like using because one, I have a red lace version. <laughs> But also, um, yeah, I just like the size. I, I like the fabric it creates with DK spore or fingering weight. And um, I like how fast they can be. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my favorite needle. Again, they don't really go together that well. Um, but that's what I like. Um, okay, do you like mohair or fluffy yarns? Or do you prefer non-fluffy yarns? So I do like mohair yarns. I do like fluffy yarns. I also like non-fluffy yarns. I like mohair because I feel like it helps hide some of the wear on my pieces. I tend to wear my pieces kind of hard, I guess, and so, or often at least, and so they pill often and holding it with mohair or surrey or something. I feel like muddles that um, wear and tear look. 
Again, I don't really mind the pills though. I can remove them or it's just a sign of a good wear. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I, I could go either way. Um, sometimes they are itchy, but in general with me, I'm wearing my sweaters with something underneath them, like cardigans, yes. Even like my summer wear, I probably wear something underneath. Yeah, what about you? Do you like mohair? This this tends to be pretty divisive on um, people liking mohair, hating mohair, or just like, you know, can't even use any kind of, of fluffy yarn. I didn't use it for a long time because um, sometimes it feels like the expense goes up when you add um, mohair to your project. I probably would not knit something that was just mohair or just Surrey, like held double or single or something. I just, yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I, I think they they fit, you know, in their own own ways. I would do either project. I have a couple of, of each, you know, so yeah, I don't really have a strong opinion on that. I like how they look on other people too. I like um, kind of the glow that comes off of the mohair. Um, I think that's beautiful. I, yeah, not very strongly opinionated on that one. <laughs> uh, okay, the last question I'm gonna answer today is my favorite summer yarn. Yes, I will put a picture up, but I have another Cumulus tea, <laughs> um, and it is in my favorite summer yarn, and that is Pearl Soho Sweetgrass. It's a cotton alpaca yarn. I, yeah, I really love it. I would say it is a wonderful summer yarn and you can also wear it, you know, in the sort of in-between seasons. Um, it's fingering weight and it has a nice yardage, probably close to 400 yards um, in one skein. So that's lovely as well. I've seen a few patterns coming out with it or coming out for it in the summer. Um, so I think it's a great, it's a great yarn. If you see it on sale, I would, I would snag some. Um, I also tend to wear, like I will wear this this summer, and this is um, just knitting for all of Merino. So I don't knit a lot of summer things. I think I have one summer knit planned for this summer. Otherwise, I'll just be knitting either for preparation for the winter for my son um, or for me. And then also maybe just more lightweight, um, more just like a lightweight knitter. So a lightweight cardigan or some, or like this has more of a bracelet sleeve. Um, so, so more summer-ish, but not strictly for summer, I guess I would say. Um, I just don't really wear them as much. And yeah, I don't know. I do have a summer, summer tank top I'm excited to knit um, with a, with a knitting friend but other than that yeah I don't have a lot of summer knit plans um I would just wear wear wool year round if I could <laughs> thank you if you have made it this far for watching um I hope you have a lovely weekend and happy knitting